Right off the top at five, there has been yet another very confusing twist in the sexual abuse lawsuit that we told you earlier this week had been filed against Reverend Darius Pridgen. He is, of course, also the Buffalo Common Council president. And good evening. I'm Scott Levin. Now a published report states the woman who says she was the victim in the lawsuit is now backing off the accusations against Pastor Pridgen. But her attorney says that is not the case. A little confusing. Channel 2's Ron Plants has the story. It's just not true. That is what Reverend Darius Pridgen has maintained in the face of that lawsuit, which emerged on Wednesday. The 18-page civil suit contends that a woman in her late 40s, who we are not identifying as a self-proclaimed abuse victim, was allegedly sexually abused several times by Pridgen in 2020 when she was a member and volunteer at the True Bethel Baptist Church, where Pridgen presides as senior pastor and bishop. Pridgen told us he does not remember ever meeting the woman. So now this published account, which says the alleged victim told a reporter the incidents never happened and she did not talk to an attorney. Pridgen spoke on this development during a WUFO radio talk show today. She interviewed with the Buffalo News last night. I'm going to ask this community because something obviously is going on. I'm reaching out for her right now because she has said this never occurred. I can't go into detail of the next steps. However, I ask that you be gracious to her. New York City-based attorney Antigone Curis, who represents the victim and accuser, responded to two on your side, stating that, quote, my client has repeatedly refused phone calls from the Buffalo News and media alike. She has made no such representation. Then this afternoon, a letter was sent from Buffalo-based attorneys Paul Cambria and Joseph Manna to attorney Curis. It reads in part, it is very concerning that you verified the false allegations, but the victim told the Buffalo News she has not spoken to an attorney. In light of the victim's statement to the Buffalo News and her pastor, we demand that you immediately file a notice of discontinuance with prejudice. Further, the letter states, failure to do so will result in additional litigation. Do govern yourself accordingly. Now, so far, we have not heard back from Attorney Curis out in New York City in response to that letter threatening more legal action from the attorneys here in Buffalo, Cambria, and Mana. I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News. Hi,